Thoughtful communicator employs active listening in purposeful, verbal, nonverbal, and written, written expression of thoughts and ideas. I think to be a thoughtful communicator is to use nice tone and kind of communicate and use the right words at the same time. They should be used. Um, we're doing our inventions and my close friend was having trouble so I helped him come up with a new prototype to start it. Like when I talk to him I kind of try to like give him suggestions and that's how I usually like in this instance I asked him if he needed some help and I gave him some um, information on how to do what he was trying to do and then he realized that what he was trying to do wouldn't work so I, that's how I helped him. I think for me, being a thoughtful communicator is being able to both articulate your own opinions through words or expressions or writing, while also being able to take time to listen to what other people have to say. I think it's important that when you're having those kind of conversations, you're able to see both sides of the story so you can better communicate with people. I think that in a classroom setting, when you're trying to talk to people, I think it's important just to slow down sometimes. And make sure you're trying your best to, like I said earlier, just understand their opinions. Because sometimes people can get a little hot-headed. <laughs> and I think sometimes we can always step back and think before we talk about important things. Because I think if you're going to be thoughtful about your words, it's important that you know what you're saying before you say it. I think it means just like thinking before you speak and like just being kind in general. And just using that to the best of your ability to like get your points across. I try to, like in class, I'll try to kind of limit what I say so that I'm not like distracting others, but then when I do have a chance to speak, I want it to be uh, like meaningful in a way, like whether it's, like it doesn't always have to be formal, like whether it's just a funny joke or something like that, or like an actual answer to a question that the teacher asks. I just want it to be kind of meaningful and not just me blurting out whatever comes to my head. I think that, and this is hitting on teachers, when you're communicating with your teachers, I think we often miss the mark that they are still our teachers, even if they're our friends. So it's, if you're trying to talk to them about a grade that's bad, maybe you wanna come off a little more approachable and still respectful of the fact that they are a higher up and it's important that we pay them the respects that are due. And I think when you're talking to your classmates, and this especially happens when, you know, maybe you got in a really bad argument with one of them or maybe you just don't like them for whatever reason. It's still important that we follow that with, you know, respect and we're still being kind to our classmates because it's incredibly difficult to keep a healthy balance in a classroom if everyone's arguing all the time. So, like I said earlier, just be attentive and be kind to people.